Hello and welcome to the Backyard Art School. My name is Julia uh, and today we're actually going out to go and see the Archibald. We, meaning my mum and I, um, I'm going to, we're going to drive in and we're going to spend the day having a look at all of the amazing portraits. Uh, but we will be focusing more on the children's portraits uh, this time around. I'll be taking lots of footage and I will do a reflection of the exhibition when we get back. through uh, the Young Archies. Uh, I'd just like to remind everyone that we are providing a online class with the fundamentals of drawing a portrait and also painting it in acrylic. So this is part of our online membership and you'll also have access to a full year of our curriculum for only $38 a month. At the moment we're focusing on animals and the environment with printmaking but in term four we'll be doing portraiture which will be focusing on the basis of how to measure um, your facial features and how to draw using your pencils uh, and also with charcoal and then also using acrylic paints. What I'm going to focus on now will be just reflecting on the young Archies, uh, just some of the artworks and, um, and I hope this encourages you just to give it a go and put your artworks in. Is if you're creating arts or portraits or drawings, put them into um, competitions because you know, who knows, it may be just that drawing that they want to see on display. Um, and don't look at it as being, if you don't get in, you're the worst artist. It's got nothing to do with that at all. All it is, is when they curate the exhibition, when they gather all the artworks, they want to have a large ver variation of different works and art artworks. So for the Young Archies, what I saw was a really diverse, um, interesting, um, different sort of artworks. Some were photorealists, very minimal were photorealists actually. There was a, just a few, um, but a lot of it was just, I think the ones that caught my eye are the ones with the personality that made me giggle a little bit or reflect. Um, and also just uh, looking at some of the younger artworks, they're just amazing, like just really beautiful, bright, colorful, um, artworks and um, and some of them were just funny um, different so I just think it's it's really great to, just to showcase a few of the artworks coming back I am looking through the photographs and the only reason why I might not have included your artwork is because there was just too much reflection um, and distortion with the image so I highly advise to go and have a look at the exhibition it is absolutely fantastic um, it's going from until oh, 14th of May uh, to the 28th of August. So that's how long it's going to be going on for. So celebrating 10 years of the Young Archies. Every artwork tells a story about a special person who has made a difference to these young lives. From parents, siblings and grandparents to friends and teachers. In these portraits we glimpse the artist's hopes and dreams and sees a powerful reflection of our diverse community 
and a shared humanity. This artwork I thought was hilarious. Uh, it's by Elijah Finch. He's 18, sorry, he's 15, um, and he's from Bishop's Bridge, New South Wales. Uh, JP the Chunk Whisperer. Uh, my friend John Paul Young and his plush toy seal, Chunk, are the subjects I have chosen for this work. He is a good friend with a great sense of humor, and we all appreciate the unconventional quirkiness this portrait conveys. So I thought that was very funny. So the next artist is by Grace Charlesworth, and her she is aged nine. Uh, this artwork is called My Little Sister Eliza, and it's watercolor stitch fabric on paper. My little sister Eliza is the youngest in the family. She is only three, but she just can't wait to grow up. She always follows her big brother James and copies whatever he does, like a mini shadow. James plays, likes to play armies, so Eliza plays that too. They wear army hoodies every day because they all always play this game. But the bad thing about Eliza is that she is always mad at us when they, we think that she's too young to play properly. Even so, we all love her. So that was lovely. Beautiful. The next portrait is by Jacqueline Quinn. And she is aged 16. And this is called Daddy. Ever since the start of COVID pandemic, I have not been able to go back to China to see my dad. Nevertheless, my dad has flown to Australia to try to visit us as much as possible. I realized that I took him for granted and I wish to bring out the endearing side of my dad through this portrait. This painting is a surprise gift and I hope to give it to him the next time he visits. So that's quite sad. So the next um, artwork is by Olive Dillon and she's aged 13 and she paints her sister. Edith and Blossom. I chose warm colors for this painting to show the warm, safe, and happy relationship I have with my big sister, Edith and my cat Blossom, and the close friendships they have with each other. I used dark indigos because it contrasts well with the warm colors. I used white gouache for the highlights to make them pop. And the next artist is a five-year-old, and his name is Santi Mateo Santiago. Uh, he's from North Parramatta, and it's called The Skipper. This is a graphite and pencil and paper. I have drawn myself with a cricket bat because I like doing cricket. I call this drawing The Skipper because I want to be the skipper of a cricket team when I grow up. So it's really a great little portrait he's done there, which I've been really enjoyed. The blue hair grandmother has been painted by James Charles Worth of St. Ives and he is eight years old. He has uh, created this with a marker pen and ink on paper. My grandmother has a lot of gray hair, so she likes to cover it up by dyeing her hair. Since her English is not so good, she thought the dye was the color brown and she used it. In the end, it turned her hair blue. I thought it would be funny to draw it. So aged 11, this is an artist who has used ink, graphite, charcoal, and acrylic on paper. Uh, and it's a self-portrait of Vinny, Vinny Macaris. I think I look handsome and a little bit weird at the same time. My mum makes me look at myself in the mirror so I can get more confidence. I think it's, I think it's working, LOL. Laugh out loud. And the next artist, um, and the next young artist is age seven. She's from Pimble. Her name is Vivian Hung, and it's called Me as a Musician. It's marker on pen and paper. I drew myself as a musician as I have just started playing cello. Maybe one day I'll become a cello teacher. While drawing myself, I also experimented with using my left hand to complete some parts of the work. If I can play cello with both of my hands, I should be able to draw with both my hands as well. That's great, I love that one. We have a 16-year-old um, student, Jasmine Goon, and she's from Ballarat, uh, and, who sh and, and her portrait is of her brother, and it is called, And Who Shaped You? Pencil, gel pen, and graphite on paper. My younger brother, Kevin, is nonverbal. His brain has developed differently to a neurotypical person. Despite my brother not being fully verbally communicative, 
He constantly inspires me to strengthen my integrity and acceptance of those around me. He, without words, has taught me how to develop approaches to other people's lives positively. Observing and growing up with him has taught me not to pass judgment on anyone, both inside and out. I thought that was a really powerful one by Jasmine. We have another seven-year-old, um, and this one is by Jean Yan, and he lives in Carlingford, New South Wales. Uh, this artwork is crayon and paper, and it is me and my first rat. This is me holding a rat test. It's a new requirement for us so we could go back to school and see teachers and friends. But taking this test is very uncomfortable, and I hate it because my nose always hurts after the test. I wish that very soon COVID will go away and our life will go back to normal. The next artist's artwork is called Chubby Cheeks by Rocco Schiavani. And he's aged six years old uh, and from Balcom Hills. And this artwork is with watercolor, pencil, pen, and magazine cuttings on paper. This is a picture of my baby brother. He has the chubbiest cheeks in the whole world. He has lots of spit and vomit and sticks out his tongue like in my picture. He is very cute. I didn't used to like him much because he was boring, but now I like him because he is funny and he never tells me to be quiet. The next artist is a five-year-old. Her name is Luella Chiswick and she is from Lizaro, New South Wales. And it's called Ariel, watercolor and marker pen on paper. I painted Ariel because she is my favorite sister. Simple, but very beautiful. So Grace Clark, who is seven, has uh, drawn her dad, and uh, she is from Chelsea Heights, Victoria. Brush, marker, pen, and pencil and paper. This is my dad, and I want to show how much he loves the outdoors. He loves going on runs, and this is him running mountains. He is a vegan, and he's very fit. The next artwork is called Feeling Blue and it's by Tatum O'Connor. This portrait is devoted to my amazing niece who pulled this bizarre face while on one of our weekly video calls. Her childlike innocence, which I feel the need to preserve and protect, is projected in this image. Her silly face faces light up my entire world and her cheeky antics can get me through cold and challenging times. I hope one day I can give her this image to show how much I truly love her. Beautiful. So the, the final artwork that I want to show is by Samantha Lee. She's aged eight from Oatley, New South Wales, and it's called Great Grandfather. This is brown paper transfer print on paper. This is my great grandpa. He is 95 years old and lives in China. I have not seen him for three years now. I want him to come and visit me, but mum said due to COVID and his age, he may not be able to take a plane anymore. He has a big turtle that is 35 years old. I secretly told the turtle in my dreams that I wish he could bring my grandpa to see me because I miss him. Thank you so much for joining me for our little reflection of the Young Archies. And again, I do hope that you join our membership program. It is full of different art lessons throughout the year um, of, from our summer school holidays, workshops. We also have our term one fundamentals of drawing and painting and still life. We also have term two, which we are going through at the moment which is the environment and animals and uh, how to create mixed media and prints from uh, the drawings that you create. Uh, next term, we're going into sculpture. And finally, you'll be having portraiture. It's only $38 per month and it is a self-led membership, but we do have monthly Zoom meetings for students that would like to showcase their works and get feedback. And also please subscribe and like.